showing you the people that work for you behind the scenes, this is at your service. Hi, my name is Adriana Munoz and I've been working for the Clovis Police Department for about a year now as a telecommunications officer or dispatcher. I would refer to dispatch as pretty much like the center of, you know, uh, making sure everything runs okay and smooth uh, as far as uh, with the fire department, EMS, and police department. We also dispatch for the sheriff's office during their off hours. We gather information and then we get it out there and then dispatch it and make sure that whatever agency needs to respond, responds there as quick and soon as possible. Uh, it, it, what's interesting to me whenever I came to this uh, job is just uh, as far as the, the shifts, you know, we have, we work on three shifts. We have the day shift, the swing shift, and the grave shift. Mm -hmm. And the problems that you deal with or the type of calls that we deal with uh, differ from, you know, shift to shift. Uh, you know, during the day you deal with all the courts and you deal with all the paperwork and mostly administrative things. Uh, during the swing shift, you know, you deal with all your domestics, you deal with, uh, I guess, you know, everybody coming home from work and fighting, and it's more upbeat, uh, busier shift. Um, you know, you have more officers to keep track of. And then the graveyard shift is pretty much, you know, dead. You don't, you know, occasionally on the weekend, you know, you'll have, uh, you know, a lot of, or, you know, more traffic going on or more things, you know, to keep you busy. You know, you have to develop a sense of humor, uh -huh. uh, you know, within the job, you know, as far as, you know, because sometimes it's, you know, you have to vent, you know, and your stress level is like really high and sometimes, you know, we'll, <laughs> we're like, okay, you know, you have to find humor in things. Right. One of our interesting uh, calls that we received was a, uh, a caller that thought they saw one of the Friday the 13th masks uh, over at the grain elevator and it was out, you know, looking out uh, one of the windows and uh, our officers of course have to respond and check it out and uh, one of our sergeants made sure to, you know, let us know that, you know, Jason wasn't in the building. So. Uh, the best part is um, not knowing what's gonna, you know, happen. Uh, there's days where, I mean, it's just nonstop, you know, calls from beginning to end <laughs> makes the day go by a lot faster. Uh, there are days when there's uh, absolutely nothing going on. Um, one of the best parts is uh, to get that call out as soon as possible, get the information and get them help as soon as possible. That's uh, pretty rewarding as far as, um, you know, it, feels good to be able to do that. You know, along with the good comes the bad. You know, uh, whenever you get those really hard calls that kind of, you know, get to you, um, uh, you know, you, you kind of have to disassociate yourself, you know, and, uh, you know, you can't react even though, you know, uh, it affects everybody personally, you know, if you get, you know, a call where, uh, someone has just passed away or they're not breathing, you know, that's got to be one of the hardest things. Um, also, it's very stressful. Um, you have to be able to multitask uh, and you have to be able to keep your cool. Uh, a lot of people are not able to, to handle that level of stress, uh, you know, when you have, uh, you know, every radio going and, you know, calls coming in and you're you know, doing paperwork for someone and, you know, you have to be able to uh, listen and, you know, know what you're doing. Reporting for Freedom New Mexico, this is Gabriel Monte.